Hey guys, welcome back to the Nomadic Foodie. My name is Kat, and today I am taking you to the Kennedy Space Center, and more specifically, the Apollo Saturn V Center. If you're only coming here once in your life, even if you don't have the bus tour for this location, I think you should still go because there's still a lot to see and do without this bus tour. But if you think you are coming back to the area again, wait until KSC has this bus tour because you can easily spend a couple of hours here because there's so much to look at and experience here. And this place is really special because the Apollo Saturn V Center, it's actually behind NASA's gates. So it's within a restricted area and you can only get here by these buses. And the main attraction here is the Saturn V rocket. The rocket is 363 feet long. So it's about 60 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty. There were a total of 13 Saturn V rockets that were launched in the 60s and 70s, but this is one of the only three remaining Saturn V rockets in the US. So as soon as you get off the bus and you enter the building, you're gonna be able to get a free tour. There's gonna be a tour guide waiting for you guys, and the tour guide's gonna walk you through the three stages of this massive rocket. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know that much about rockets or space, or astronomy, but I learned a lot more than I ever did before and I'm so glad I came. But let me know, comment below and let me know, have you ever seen a rocket launch on TV? So after the tour, you'll be free to roam and experience a ton of interesting things. I've seen rocket launches on TV, but I haven't seen a rocket this close in my life, so this was really interesting to me. But after the tour, definitely walk to the left side of the rocket, and you're gonna see a piece of the moon that you can actually touch. And this is a video of me touching a piece of the moon just to prove it. And this is my husband touching the moon as well, but I totally failed. <laughs> I cut off the video at the exact moment where I should have been filming it. So that is definitely hashtag fail for me, but he did it as well. And this is just a really awesome thing to wrap your brain around that, you know, whenever you look up at the moon now, you can just think I touched a piece of that moon. That's so amazing, right? So after that, I would suggest going to two video presentations. One of them simulates the environment inside an Apollo firing room. You might have seen these on TV too. And this one was really exciting to experience. You're observing all the things that they had to do to get this rocket into space successfully. So I do recommend doing that. Another video presentation simulates the Apollo 11 moon landing. And I actually got a little emotional during this one, but this was a really interesting one as well. And and I'll show you a little bit of what you can see here. For example, this is Kitty Hawk 1971. This is from the Apollo 14. So this is a command module. And so astronauts actually use this on their third mission to land on the moon. So this was really interesting. And you get to see that here. You're gonna be able to also see the Apollo lunar module. And this is a lunar roving vehicle. So this is a battery powered four wheeled rover that's used on the moon. And the last three missions of the Apollo program. So this was used in 1971-72 and this is also called the moon buggy which is a play on the term dune buggy get it dune buggy moon buggy so the apollo saturn 5 center is located close to launch complex 39 you can see it from here and this is the spot where a lot of history has been made this is the spot guys maybe you've seen it on tv but you can see it in person here and these are the bleachers where people sit to watch a launch and there is a restaurant here if you get hungry but I recommend bringing your own lunch because that's what we did so we just ate at one of these picnic tables outside so after you're done exploring everything, they do have return shuttle buses that leave every 15 minutes. Whenever you're ready, you can just hop onto a bus and you can go back to the KSC Visitor Complex. So there you go, guys. I hope this really helped you to plan your trip here. And if you like more travel guides around Florida, please subscribe and stay tuned.